Well, as Hurricane Harvey victims continue to rebuild, soybean farmers across Louisiana are working to figure out how to move forward from Harvey's torrential rain. Just after the storm, soybean experts said it was hard to assess the damage. However, as Twyla's A.J. Sabine shows us, now that harvest is underway, farmers are seeing that impact at the elevator. According to a published U.S. Department of Agriculture report, Louisiana's standing soybean crop bore the brunt of more than 13 inches of rain left by tropical storm Harvey. LSU soybean specialist Dr. Todd Spivey shares his first impressions just after the storm. The growers in the southwestern part of the state, uh, we are going to see some flooding in those areas with the crop. And depending on the stage of the crop is, is going to give us a little, little better idea of the kind of damage we'll see. If the beans are past R6, if they've been desiccated, um, we shouldn't reduce yield that much as, as far as direct yield. Experts say that percentage of Louisiana soybeans rated good to excellent fell by nearly 15 percent to 56 percent. Spivey explains that Harvey hit Louisiana at the worst time. Uh, the biggest issue with flooding is the depletion of oxygen in the soil. And when it gets really hot and really sunny, that increases plant respiration, and all of that does is just deplete the oxygen even faster from the soil. And once that oxygen is depleted, the plants are done. The cool, uh, cool, cloudy weather would really help out in flooded situations. In areas where it, we've got a lot of rain and the ground's pretty wet, um, and the beans just, you know, just got wet from the rain, sunny conditions will help there just to dry things out. But those warm conditions will also lead to an increase in disease incidence, uh, whether that be aerial blight, pot and stem blight. Uh, we may see some soybean rust uh, just based on the path of the storm, bringing some soybean rust in from southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana. At the elevator, the proof of storm damaged soybeans is by the pound. Louisiana Farm Bureau Grain Marketing Specialist Greg Fox opines that two solid weeks of rain has made an indelible impact on this year's soybean crop. So we're seeing high damage grain. Uh, you're seeing anywhere from 50 to you know, 20 percent damage, some, some a little less. It just depends on where you were and how much water got off the fields in a, in a amount of time, good amount of time. The problem was those beans sat in the field for two weeks and needed to be cut while that was going on. So it took at least a week after that to dry out enough to where those guys could get in the field. And that's some of the reason we're seeing a lot of damage right now. According to Fox, the market has responded in kind. He anticipates an adjustment at the elevator to offset the cost of storm damage. Basis levels had improved, um, but with a lot of the elevators taking in some high damage, they've adjusted their basis levels to kind of help offset the cost of getting rid of some of that grain. Uh, but we have seen the elevators take some high damage. Some took anything that showed up. Others had to set some limits just based off of what they had in house and what they could move in a timely fashion. Uh, the key to getting the stuff out was to have dry grain. If you're going to have 20, 30 percent damage, you know, you want that to be 14, 13 percent moisture. It just makes it easier for the elevators to move it out. According to published reports, Hurricane Harvey will likely disrupt shipping of soybeans as well as cotton out of ports in the Houston area. About 60 percent of American soybeans move through ports in southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana. For more information about soybeans, you can learn more on our website at twilighttv.org.